Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I want to declutter the closet as you go in the front door to the right there. It's a little coat closet. It always stays cluttered, and we had some blankets stacked up top, and Daisy got shut up in there, and she, I guess, climbed everywhere, knocked everything down. There's just some games, some random things in there that I need to go through and get rid of, and then I wouldn't care to do the linen closet like right outside of my bedroom and Allison's, that small bathroom, the linen closet there. I wouldn't care to do that. Um, it just needs it. Um, I'm running to the P.O. box right now because we have a package. And I'm going to go to the Dollar General. It's right next door. So, let's see what we can get done today. Maybe declutter. From doing that garage yesterday, it's just kind of got me in the mood to get some things done. So, that's what I'm saying. When I said I'm trying to get back into the routine of, you know, throwing more videos out, decluttering more, cleaning more, organizing more. I know you guys probably think that like I do all this stuff and I have all this energy, but really it's like days piled into one video. It's not like I do that all day long. I promise I don't. I promise I don't. <laughs> so anyway, but when you do a space like that, when you declutter a space or clean a space, it makes you want to do another space. And out of all the spaces and well all our spaces need to be decluttered what am i saying allison's closet's terrible y'all seen the ones out of her closet the other day um the other closet because she has double closets on the wall the other closet is full of my stuff kennedy stuff um jugs of water all kinds of things i really want to do something with my bedroom i want to get that food storage out but we can't put it in the like really really cold or really really hot so i don't know what to do with that maybe if i can clean that side of allison's closet out i can put food storage in that since she doesn't use that space anyway so maybe i can do that i'd really like to paint in my bedroom i'd like to maybe build a headboard or something when we bought that safe we bought that from bass pro and it was black friday or thanksgiving or something i can't remember what day exactly but it was like half off i mean it was like too good of a deal to turn down so we needed something fireproof to put a lot of our things because we have so many documents on this house and um living wheels things like that that we don't want anything to happen to so we bought that that's not a safe anybody could pick up and carry um four people couldn't pick it up and carry it and then it's fireproof too so it's a good space for important things but when we brought it in we had alden and my brother and heather and i and dollies and raw i mean it was crazy at how heavy that thing is i need to look it up and see exactly how heavy it is if i can find it i'll put it here but we sat it there and i wish we hadn't put it there i really wish we could move it maybe in the corner where that shelf is where all that food's at or something i wish we could put it somewhere else that way maybe i could center my bed up on that wall i don't know we'll see but anyway got all these big plans but i'm bad to start a project because i want to do it so i'll jump straight into it when the rest of my house is completely trashed i need to take care of everything get everything good decluttered good get everything in order and then work on that room and of course you all know lexi is gonna have, be having a baby soon and i've still got places to go things to do for different people and i'll get to it i promise i know that there's a, my inbox seriously my inbox on my facebook and instagram is packed full of people that are pretty local that want me to come help them do things and I promise I will try to get to you. I don't know when it'll be because Lexi's going to go back to work and then I'm going to have the baby. So maybe on her days off, maybe one day a week, I can try to get somewhere and help somebody. We'll just see. I have to take care of me and, you know, my family first. And after that, we'll see what's left. But I do want to help. I still want to help people and I want to reach out and, you know, help different people that need it, especially elderly people that struggle to do things like that on their own. So anyway, let's go to the P.O. Box. You said it was the last time, but you keep coming back to tell me. Sorry that you take back all the things you said just to hurt me. Flashy, well, no, you gotta stay over there. You want a pep cup? Do you want a pep cup? Look. 
If you want a pep, if you want a pep cup, raise your hand. Good job. See it? Good boy. Shake. Good boy. <laughs> he cracks me up how he gets that and carries it off. Lexi got a couple of packages at the post office from Anna. I believe it's from Anna. So, when I went next door to the Dollar General, I got baby diapers. Also got some baby wipes. And I got some batteries. One of Lexi's things that she got takes batteries. Kennedy wanted some candy. Also got at Food City, I got apples. Dollar General, I got these little party cups. I thought these would be good for sauces and stuff like that in lunches and like to put with Ziplocs. So, Honeycrisp apples, I already said that. Got a Red Bull. Got Flashy, some more pup cups. He loves those. Some popcorn chicken, and Allison likes the Food City brand popcorn chicken. She says it's the best, and she is very picky, so if we're eating something she don't like, popcorn chicken is always her go-to. For supper, I got chicken, bacon, ranch, Velveeta, one pan skillet dinner kit. Got some chicken to go with that, and garlic bread. Um, Heather and the girls really like the chicken bacon ranch anything. They love the pizza, but I'll probably just um, grill me a piece of this and have that without it. I'm not crazy about chicken bacon ranch things. So that is it. So yesterday I straightened the garage up and decluttered a little bit and it just kind of made me want to keep on doing it. Well, not really. I don't ever want to declutter. I don't ever want to clean for sure. But I know that we have way too much stuff and the stuff we do have that we need, it's just not in its place. Everything is thrown everywhere and it's just a mess. It's chaos. It really is chaos. It's a house full of girls. So it's a big girl party all the time and it's a mess. But I wanted to get this dining room straightened up. Lexi's sat in here, as you guys have seen, and opened gifts. So we've had chairs pulled out. Lexi and Hunter came over the other night and we played Farkle. I don't know if y'all have ever played that, but it's a dice game and it is so much fun. We laughed so hard and I don't think I've ever seen Hunter laugh as hard as he did. But it's really fun and we had pulled those desk chairs out so Heather and I wouldn't have to sit on that bench. We just wanted something we could kind of lean back on with the back that way it wouldn't hurt us so much like the next day because you know getting old. So anyway that's why those chairs are in here and I need to take those back. But I wanted to get this dining room straightened up and get it wiped down. You know, there's cats everywhere. They've walked all over this table. They're probably walking on the table in the background, I'm sure, even after I've wiped all this down. We don't really eat at this table, but if we do, I always wipe it down first because I know that a cat's been on it. So I just wanted to get it wiped down. There was some glitter on here. Don't know how or why. I'm not going to ask questions. <laughs> but Lexi received a couple of packages today, and then I got her some diapers and wipes and a few other little things. And she was off today, so she stayed home and put her little swing together and her bouncy chair and just some different things and just cleaned at home. So I told her, I said, you don't have to come over here every day and open gifts. That's fine. They'll be here when you stop by. You know, don't make a special trip. They don't expect it every video or every day or whatever. But I am trying just to throw out a few videos of what I do each day. I think that's a little bit easier because I don't have hours and hours and hours of footage and days and days of footage to edit. So if I sit down and edit that night, what I've done that day. It's just easy. It's not hours and hours of footage. It's just less to voiceover. It's just so much easier. So I thought I would do a few of these and just kind of show you what we're doing. And I don't know if, you know, I'll post them every day like this. I know I posted yesterday and the day before. So I don't have a schedule. I've told you guys that from the beginning. If I were to set a schedule for myself, I'm just setting myself up for failure. Y'all would be really mad at me because I couldn't stick to it. So I'm not not going to say that I will. Live your life.
right within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away Not We've accumulated a whole bunch of boxes from where the Amazon packages will arrive in an Amazon box, but when you open it, then it's in its own box. So we've got all these extra boxes around, and of course, she just takes, you know, the box that her gift came in. She's not worried about this box, and of course, I wouldn't tell her to take it. We'll get rid of it. We'll use it, whatever. But I kind of like having a big box like this sitting around when I'm cleaning or a big gift bag or something like that. Just something you're going to toss because you can just throw all of your trash in it. I love having a box like that just so you can throw a water bottle or just trash in it. It's just convenient and it's nice and you don't have to fill up your trash can. But I was vacuuming that chair off. The cats have been laying in those chairs. Then I was like, I really need to do this closet. So I just went ahead, opened the door as bad as I dreaded it. And yeah, so I told you guys there was some blankets folded up top and Daisy had got shut up in there. I had got my shoes out of the closet to take Allison to school one morning. And when I got back, she was laying there and her arms were sticking out from under the door like she was trying to get out. And the other cats were sitting around the door on the outside of it, just looking at her like, sorry, but we can't help you. So anyway, I opened the door and let her out. She wasn't in there 30 minutes, but she did tear some shirts off the hanger, some jackets, some sweaters. She had tore those down, I guess, climbing up, but she had knocked some blankets off. And of course, we have shoes everywhere, and that's us, not her, because we just kick our shoes off and kick them in that closet and shut the door. But we still have not done the best job as far as putting them on that little shoe shelf. So I just wanted to go ahead and empty this closet out and sweep it because I knew that dog hair and cat hair had gotten up under there. I guess the fan, the ceiling fans blow that hair and dust and stuff up under there or we just track it in on our shoes, whatever. But I wanted to clean that floor and then just start from the ground up. hoping even though we've already ordered her another airpod we ordered her i think it was her right one that the cats had lost and we couldn't find it so i was still hoping that it would be in this closet as i emptied everything out but i had already opened the closet and looked up under everything so that's when i had noticed that it was in the shape it was as far as the floor because i could see the dust and the hair and the dirt and all that stuff so I knew before I got into this that the floor was really bad. That's why I wanted to just take everything out and vacuum and then mop. And of course, you see Flash here helping me. So he's got to where he won't bark at the vacuum. If you guys remember my early days, he would chase that vacuum and that Bissell and all that and bark his head off and it would just tear him up. But now he doesn't really mind it, I guess, because it's just an everyday thing, really. Anyway, just getting this closet floor clean, getting it vacuumed, mopped, so I can start putting everything back in. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now, you're 
sex was a kiss, still burning. Didn't know I missed this passion in life. Now I'm addicted. So now let me tell you why. What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting, irresistible. When I look through your eyes, not even sky's the limit. I used to be satisfied. Stayed over the surface. Now I just can't get enough. You make me feel good like no other. I just want everyone to see what I've discovered. And when I'm with you, I go higher. You lift me up now. I can see. Doesn't it look so much better? It is such a drastic difference. I don't really notice it until I'm editing back and I see how bad it was before and how good it looks after, but it does look so much better. Still the same day. There's a hair on the camera. It's still the same day. I just changed clothes because I was hot. Anyway, the we just ate the chicken bacon ranch pasta stuff and it was like so salty. Um, like it was just way too salty. I guess it was just the cheese, I don't know, but I mean, if you like salty stuff, you might want to crush up a blood pressure pill to go with it. So this closet, I'm not even going to try to explain it. We're lazy and we don't put anything where it goes and everything just falls to the floor and we leave it there. And there's a little bit of everything in this closet. I even found Kennedy's diploma up top. So yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and read my devotional to you guys. But today's is you are redeemed. Fear not for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name and you are mine. Isaiah 43 1. Despite the wanderings and shortcomings of the Israelites, God chose them. He called them redeemed even when they turned their backs on him. He spoke words of encouragement to them through the prophet Isaiah, even after they made the wrong choices over and over again. He continued to guide them, fully knowing that they would likely not follow each time. God is not far off waiting for you to do the right thing. He's not sitting frustrated that you don't spend enough time with him. He's not an annoyed king, confused about why his people just can't get it right and just can't get it together already. He sees you and he calls you by name. You are his valued child, able to be close to him because of what Christ did on the cross. There is not a path that you can take that would make you irredeemable. There is not a place that you can wander where you suddenly don't have the ability to turn back to him. Lord, you have called me by name. You know exactly who I am and what I'm walking through. You and you alone redeem me. Teach me how to turn to you, no matter how far away I might feel. Help me to walk in security and not in fear because of what you have done. So thankful that he's not an annoyed God and that he isn't just done with me. I'm so thankful that he doesn't look at me and say, you've done this too many times. I'm not putting you back together. Or this is the last time I'm going to put you back together. I'm so glad that my God's not like that because I would be doomed. It would be a hopeless cause with me. I've not lived a perfect life. Not even close. <laughs> There are so many promises that I feel like I've broken, you know, for better or for worse. Did I stick that out? No. I gave up and I ran away. What was that showing my kids? You know, what kind of example was I? What kind of mother am I? And I do beat myself up a lot of times over things like that. And then I tell myself, too, that your kids didn't deserve to see the fighting and to hear the fussing and to hold their ears and be afraid and be scared and be sad. They didn't deserve all that. Sometimes... We just have to walk away. We just have to take a break. And I think that he knows every situation. I feel like he knows me more than I know myself. He knows me inside out and he knows the hurt I was feeling. Why are you up there? Why are you up there? He knows the reasons behind the decisions that I've made. I'm so glad, so glad that he loves me no matter what. But I am thankful for his grace and I'm thankful for forgiveness and I'm thankful that I'm his and I'm thankful that he loves me regardless. As much as I love my own kids unconditionally, he loves me so much more unconditionally. Don't know where I would be without that for sure. 
but I hope this gave you some motivation. This closet looks much better too, and I promise you guys, this didn't take me probably 20 minutes per closet. So if I can do this, you can do this. Just pick a day, and even if you have to do the top part one day, the bottom part the next, or one shelf at a time, or grab two things a day out of it, and maybe you have all of your stuff together, and I hope you do. That would be great. I wish I could be like that. I wish I could be neat and tidy, but I'm not. So I have to make time for decluttering because I'm such a clutter bug. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this gave you a little motivation to get up and get your spaces decluttered or straightened up. Or maybe it's just entertainment, pure entertainment. Like, whoa, this chick's really messy. <laughs> and that's okay too. But I'm so glad you're here. I am. I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Lexi will be here tomorrow to open some gifts. So I'll throw that in the next video. But I love you guys so much. Jesus loves you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. and fading I know there's something more than this I think I am ready for doing some changing oh God there is something extra batteries matches flashlights kid stuff crayons coloring books um, feminine products I have some butt wipes here we have an extra fitted sheet there we're throwing all of our flat sheets away but I think our other fitted sheet maybe in the laundry room I'm gonna have to look um, we have towels in the dryer now, so there's not too many in here. We usually shower and bathe in Heather's room a lot of the times. Sometimes we don't, so we just do whatever. But here's some towels. Like I said, there's some in the dryer now. Beach towels, washcloths. I have some pillowcases here. We have two extra shower curtains here and some shower curtain hooks. We have some soap, toothpaste, and this is just... Um, old towel of Kennedy's from when she played ball. So if she wants to get rid of that, then that's fine. If not, we're going to keep that. And then I swept and mopped down here. This needs to be painted, which might be a project for me. That might be kind of fun to paint the inside of this closet. But I'm just going to slide this scale back in here and we can pull it out and use it when we need it. But much better and didn't take long at all. Keep my windows open I hear the cries of the broken I know they were made for more than this I see all the fire and smoke and Your hearts are losing hope Yeah, I know It's hard I want to be a shining light Live a life that shows through the Show me, make the broken things new.